Hey everyone, welcome back to Magic Farm 2. Picking up right where we left off last episode, we did a little bit of exploration, added a few touches here on our home, or our mansion here, the Bindley Mansion. Um, went out and found ourselves a little chicken friend, hopefully he'll start pooping us out some uh, eggs very soon, um, so we can give him some friends. I got some experience we need to get rid of. There we go. Fill that drum up soon. And let me go ahead and put this back in here for now. Alright, I'm going to go ahead and quickly do a little bit of cleaning. Get rid of you. Let's put this stuff back down on our hot bar. Put the casting bin away for the moment. Those are the Tinker's Construct arrows. Alright, I think that should about do it. Alright, let's grab a few more sugar cane. Go ahead and get ourselves some paper made. I think we have some paper around here somewhere. Yep, there we go. There's some more paper. Should be quite a bit to last us a good while. Uh, we have two pieces of leather. I don't know if that's going to be enough. We have a few ink sacks. That might be enough to get us going. Not sure. Uh, but I do know we're going to need some more glass. So let's go ahead and cook up these little bits of sand. Is too much coal. That should be enough. And we'll get ourselves started. So we got miscraft on the side here already to go for us. So we need ourselves a book binder is gonna require three iron ingots. Done. I'm just gonna go ahead and use spruce for this. Oh. So there's another way to make a fence. Like that, from extra trees. Kinda like the fancy fences one more myself. Uh, book binder. Part one. We're gonna need an ink mixer, so really? Okay, well I was not aware of this. This is kind of unfortunate. Well darn it. Now I ain't gonna be able to do this. Ink mixer. Yeah, I need I need that for Miss Craft. Well, there's one way for you to <laughs> mess with me, I guess. All right. Well, I'm gonna go ahead and make up some of these components anyway. We'll get them at least laid out in our uh, Miss Craft room. So we got the book binder here. So I'm thinking, um, putting this guy like right here, the writing desk right. Whoa, that was. That was frame rate right there. Yeah, that's not a bad spot. We'll put that right there. No, actually, I don't want that right there. Why did you place like that? There we go. That's better. That's where I wanted you. Against the wall right there. And every time I look at you, you mess with my sky and my mini-map. Okay. I'll try to remember that. Alright, I'm going to go put the rest of this fertilizer away. You two need to hurry up and grow... I need some more of you very soon. So I guess that's probably a good sign for us to just go ahead and start jumping in and getting some machines made because uh, for our ink mixer, we're going to need Enderium, which is a little unfortunate. And to make Enderium, we need thermal expansion. So we'll need induction smelter, uh, pyrothium, which we should be able to make very soon. I think we can actually get that from the desert over there. We have those um, cinder pearls that we can just uh, pluck up, so we should be okay with that, not having to worry about getting um, blaze rods. But we do need sulfur, pulverized coal, so I guess we'll just go ahead and run through, start making ourselves some of the basic uh, thermal expansion stuff. But first, let me just go ahead and finish everything we want. So we got a link modifier. Okay, so we got the book binder, we got the writing desk, we need the ink mixer. I think that's pretty much all we're going to need, if I remember correctly. It's been a little while since I've been into uh, miscraft, so let me go ahead and make a quick chest. In fact, I think I actually have yep, two crafting tables in here. So we're going to set up our Miss Craft Room just a little bit with uh, a few amenities. 
Let's see. Crafting table in the corner. Oops, nope. You come back here. You go right there. And leather, paper. We'll go ahead and put some wood in here. Wouldn't hurt. Feather, ink sacks. There we go. That'll work. Alright, well, I guess <laughs> time to shift gears a little bit and get started on some machines. We got some redstone, we got some diamonds, so we should be able to go ahead and get started on some machines. So let's go ahead and go into thermal expansion. So we're going to type in at thermal, and that should pull up everything from thermal expansion. Let's see, so redstone furnace, pulverizer, sawmill, which might be a pretty good idea. I definitely want to get an induction smelter up and running very soon. So we're going to need a lot of pistons, I think. So let's grab some wood. Oak should be okay. Definitely need to get some trees growing very soon. Alright, in fact, let's grab few oak saplings. Let's do ten. We're gonna jump out. Let's see, maybe over there. We're gonna jump out back this way and we're gonna plant ourselves a small little area of oak trees. Something I probably should have done a long, long time ago. Try to space these guys out pretty well. Right, that should be good enough. Right, hopefully these will start growing soon and we'll be able to harvest those with our lumber axe. Hopefully we get a big one, a big oak tree. And, and put you back. Don't want anyone sneaking up on us. Um, let me go ahead and put my paintbrush in there. Hold on to the tinker's arrows. We'll put these back in there. Clean up our inventory a tad bit. Reorganize it. There we go. That's better. I like to try to keep it nice and clean. Alright, so we got some glass. Let's go ahead and put that with the rest of it. I'm um, always going to use that for bottles, but we don't. <laughs> we kind of uh, switched priorities at the moment. Alright, and I'm going to need a bunch of pistons. I know that for sure. So let me grab some redstone. Let's grab some iron. We got the oak planks, which we're going to be using. So, where are the pistons? There we go. I'm going to go ahead and craft maybe six of these for now. Just to get it started. Alright, let's grab some gold. We got some redstone. Alright, let's go ahead and start off making ourselves a redstone furnace. So, we're going to need some red or some bricks. I already have four. I do have some clay. Let's go ahead and get this cooking. Hmm. Let's see. Let's do half a stack. That way we don't burn through our coal improperly. We'll split that up right there. Alright, well, while that's cooking and we're waiting for that, we need redstone reception coils. So I'm going to need a few of these, so I'm going to grab, like, four. Pulverizer, what do we need? A piston, some flint, machine frame, so we are going to need some more glass. Thankfully, we got that. So we're going to need a few of those. What am I missing? Gold, glass... Oh, steel, iron, okay. I just need iron. I was clicking on the wrong... I was clicking on the wrong uh, question mark. I should have had the other one. But this will work just fine. There we go. In fact, let's go ahead and make two of those. We need some more iron. In fact, let me grab that. Let's jump down into our basement and let that start... melting down. All right, good. How far up did that go? I'm just curious. Eh. <laughs> we 
We still got a good ways to go. We could probably put a a good stack and maybe a stack and a half of iron in there if we wanted to at a time. That's pretty awesome. Alright, so I want to make two of these real quick. Two machine frames. We should have enough bricks ready to go. Alright, we should be able to make our redstone furnace. There we go. We need copper. Two of those. Alright, there we go. Redstone furnace. Alright, pulverizers next. We need two more copper and two pieces of flint. There we go. Pulverizer. Next up is induction smelter. So we're going to need a bucket. We're going to need invar. Do we have invar? I know I have uh, ferrous ore right there. And I believe that's one to two iron, but if I just go put this into the smeltery, it should make us up some invar. Wow, there we go. That stuff's already melted down, so yeah. That should make us some invar. I'm gonna have to get me a casting basin. I think I might have to grab a few more. Alright. Eh, we'll wait on that. Alright, so we need invar, copper, redstone reception coil, and a bucket. Alright, I already have a few buckets made, but I'm going to just make me another one for this instance. We need another machine frame. So we'd want to use that one down there. And I think that will about do it. We still have the redstone reception coils. We just need the invar and two copper. That's three. There we go. Alright, let's see how our invar is doing down here. I need to harvest that wheat over there too. Oh, wow, look at that. 12 ingots of invar. Nice. We'll just go ahead and grab the two that we need. In fact, actually, let's just go ahead and grab three. That'll leave nine in there. So that way we can just pour that into a basin. And that'll make us a block of invar. Let me just make it a little bit quicker. All right, let's go ahead and get the induction smelter up and running. Wait a minute. What am I missing? A bucket, machine frame, invar, copper, redstone reception coil. Yeah, I should have everything. Sometimes these things don't like to shift in there, I think. Oh, it went into my, my miner's bag. That's what it was. I couldn't find the invar. Because it was in here. Duh. Hey, right, there we go, induction smelter. So we're getting there. Not looking too bad so far. Um, I do want to go ahead and skip the magma crucible for the moment. Actually, no, I need that. Bloodstone energy cell. Wow. You're killing me here. <laughs> You're killing me. All right, we need four lead. We're going to need nine redstone to make a block of redstone. Yeah, because we, we have to melt down the ender pearls um, for the liquid enderium so uh, we'll need another machine frame but first let's get this one made leadstone energy frame cell or energy cell frame sorry and I got some nether rack eight that should be enough for two pieces of nether brick right there we go. Let's go ahead and put these bricks back away for now. Also, I want to grab these books. I'm going to leave nine in there. I want to put some in our miscraft room before I forget. There we go. All right, we're not looking too bad. Now, we have a couple different uh, forms of power generation here from thermal expansion, but I think... I might try something a little different. We're going to try some other uh, mod here in just a moment, but let's finish this off. I want a fluid transposer as well. So I'm going to need another bucket. One of you. And let's see. Fluid transposer, machine frame, glass, 
two copper. We got some glass. Because we're going to need a little bit more. Let's go ahead and get half a stack of this stuff cooking. There we go. And we're going to need another piece of gold. And I need some more iron. Running low on iron. Alright, let's jump down to our smeltery and see if we can't get this real quick. Actually, I wonder... I wonder if it'll pour out from up here if I make a drain. Actually, I don't... I don't have enough seared brick to make a drain right now. I think I actually have two of them down here. Let me try this real quick. I think, yep, this one's a drain. Should have grabbed a brick. I'm gonna try this from up here real quick. Just to see if this will work. Smell three drain. And then I have a faucet in there, but I'm gonna go put this brick back real quick. I don't know if it has to follow the rules of, like, gravity and such, but uh, we're going to find out real quick. So we have a lot of molten iron in there. Let's pull that down to the bottom. And let's grab ourselves the faucet. Oops, nope. I want to check this real quick. Ah, there we go, an egg. Thank you, chicken. Oh, nice, that does work. Cool. <laughs> well, I just make things a little bit easier on me while I'm uh, working up here. I think that'd be really nice. There we go. Couldn't let that pour out there as well. All right, and that went into my miner's backpack. Go figure. There we go. So now we have ourselves a bucket. We got... Eight nether brick. That should make us two nether bricks. And that's what we need for our magma crucible. So we need a machine frame. I think we need to go ahead and craft that. Thought it was already in there. Guess I wasn't. Oops. Click on the right thing, Bentley. There we go. Machine frame. And we should be able to make our magma crucible. Awesome. We're getting pretty pretty far in on these machines. Making quite a few already. Which is really, really good. Um, need a power source, probably. Magma Crucible. So, Fluid Transposer. Let's go ahead and make that our last machine for the moment. The Fluid Transposer. So, we need some glass. Redstone Reception Coil, which I'm going to need one more of those. So I'm going to grab two of those. Let's grab a little bit of redstone. Let's grab the glass. And I'm going to go ahead and try to just do this from memory. Machine frame. Redstone. Reception coil. And we have a bucket. We need two copper ingots. And fluid transposer. Nice. Cool. All right, power generation time after a leadstone energy cell. All right, so block of redstone. Um, four pieces of lead. There you go. Lead goes in the corners, and I then believe glass, correct? Yep. There's our cell frame, and then we just need... Electrum, so I'm gonna have to wait a moment for that, but we just need a little bit of copper So I'm just gonna go ahead and set this pattern up in here at least get it ready um, We need silver and gold To make electrum. I think we can actually do that in the smeltery I'm pretty sure that's one-to-one -one, so if I do that we Should be able to make ourselves some electrum in the smeltery We'll go ahead and give it a shot. There we go. You two get going. And then down here, we're going to start laying out some machines. We got a few extra pistons, too, but let's go ahead and get these going. All right, so redstone furnace. Let's go ahead and do um, pulverizer. 
redstone furnace, so that can send down into the furnace if we want. Um, we also want the pulverizer to be able to go into the induction smelter. And then the magma crucible to the fluid transposer. I think these machines look really cool in this texture pack. I like that. Alright, so what do we got? Molten Electrum. Nice. So I just need one ingot of that real quick. Thank you. Thought it was going to trick me. No, nope, I remember this time. Might not remember next time, but I remembered this time. Alright, and let's use this crafting table. Redstone, redstone, electrum, redstone conductance coil. Nice, there we go. So there's our leadstone energy cell. Now to upgrade that, we can go to the hardened energy cell, which we would use Invar. Which we can actually do real quick. We have that. Let's just go ahead and run down to our smeltery. We'll switch that over to Invar. There we go. And we'll pour that out in the basin up here to make us a block of Invar. Convert that over and then we'll upgrade this. In the meantime, let's go ahead and check out some other power sources. I believe Extra Utilities has some generators that I've never tried. And I believe they work with uh, Thermal Expansion's uh, Redstone Flux. So we have a few... Um, different generators here. We got furnace generator, block of iron, survivalist generator. So I guess maybe these are in tiers. Not sure. Lava generator, ender generator, heated redstone generator. That sounds interesting. Culinary generator. Hmm. So maybe this runs off food. Solar generator. Ooh, but that requires a block of diamond. That's kind of expensive at the moment for me. TNT, a pink generator. <laughs> okay. High temperature furnace generator. Alright, I'm going to have to try a few of these. Alright, let's start off with the lowest tier first. So let's go ahead and make ourselves a quick furnace. Our block of iron, which I'm going to need in a moment. And hopefully this reset back down to iron. No, it did not. What are you pouring out? Is that gold? Right, there's our Invar. Hey, Fred, how you doing? Oh, come on now. Alright, fine. Let's turn that down just a little bit for the moment. Because it's raining. Alright, what am I going to need? Cobblestone, iron, redstone, and the first. Oh, I already had some. There we go. Survivalist generator. Oops, didn't mean to put you down. Alright, I'm just going to put them down real quick. I want to see exactly GUI is a work in progress. Okay. So what does this guy require then? Probably wood, right? Power level 5, time remaining 55 seconds. So yeah, slowly generating redstone flux. I guess maybe runs off wood or um, any other fuel source. Alright, that's kind of cool. like that. Um, need some iron, another furnace, and a block of iron. Okay. Block of iron. I need my fluid ducts. I gotta fix that. I need to pour this back in. Actually, let's just pick that up. Put that there, because that'll allow me to do that. I need a... Oh, nice! My trees grew! <laughs> I just noticed that. Sorry if those have actually been there for a while, but I just saw that. Alright, there we go. So I'll pull that back in there. Alright, good. So now we're back on iron. Alright, we'll let that fill up. 
And let's go ahead and try to make this second tier. Or what I'm led to believe is the second tier of this. This is the furnace generator. All right, let's put this down next to it. So this one holds 500,000. This one, actually, no, they both hold 500,000. Okay. So that, this one's still going. All right, what do you run off of? Furnace generator. So I'm guessing maybe something like coal. Power level of 80. Wow, look at that thing go. That, that's a lot faster. A lot less time, but it does produce power a little bit quicker. All right, we do have lava, so we could use like maybe a lava generator, possibly. Culinary, solar, ultra high temperature. Hmm, I think I might try that one. I don't know what the um, ultra high temperature one does either. We just need some iron, furnace, redstone. Looks like we have enough. Um, all right. So that one piece of coal generated 24,000 redstone flux. All right. And what am I missing? Furnace generator, five iron ingots. Redstone, redstone, furnace, furnace generator. Yeah, there we go. Maybe it was because it had um, power in it already. I know I lost what I had, but I'm just testing this out. So ultra high, or actually high temperature furnace generator. I'm guessing a piece of coal do more in here? It does less. High temperature furnace generator. Maybe this takes a different fuel source. So like um, each fuel source is probably like better for each generator. So it's gonna take me some learning to figure this out. Um, survivalist generator seems to be the cheapest on resources. The furnace generator seems to be very well uh, for what I. Uh, it looks like it'll work very well for what I'm wanting. But I just need more coal. So I think I'm going to make one more of these. So I'm going to need two more blocks of iron. And then we'll see if we can't start uh, getting a lot of this stuff set up real quick. Alright, there we go. We have a block of iron. We just need a furnace. There we go, furnace generator. And I'm gonna leave those two there for the moment. I wanna grab some energy conduits. And I believe there's a cheap method of making them. Let's see, what do we have? Leadstone energy conduits, all right, so just redstone. Now these are only able to transfer 80 flux per tick, so not very much. We just need some glass, lead, and redstone. All right, we can do that, I think. Let's do four of those. I think I already had plenty of that. And then one glass in the center, so we'll do two of those, two of you. And then I'll make us 12 leadstone energy conduits. Now we can upgrade those to hardened energy conduits with Invar and Redstone. And those carry 400 Redstone flux per tick. So yeah, I'm not sure about this. I'll have to take a look into that and see um, exactly what generators require what. But for now, uh, Furnace Generator seems to be kind of the way to go for right now. So we're gonna be able to get these guys set up grab a little bit of coal. Let's do eight pieces of coal. That should be a good minimal start for us. And I'm going to run this in the back somewhere. So maybe back here. We'll put the generator like that. 
Let's see if we can put the leadstone energy cell right there. Um, accept power from the left. I don't know if that'll actually work, but we're going to try it. Let's put our coal in there. And nice, that is working. Perfect. All right, leadstone. Connect these machines up real quick. And then we want this to output in the back. So there we go. We got orange back there. That should work. And the machines should start slowly getting power. Awesome. Now we're getting somewhere slowly. But we're getting there. All right, cool. Definitely going to have to go and find us some more coal very soon, though, I think. And I think for now, that's going to about do it for today. I want to say thank you guys so much for watching. Hopefully you guys enjoyed. Let me know what you guys think. If you guys have any helpful tips, tricks, or comments, feel free to put them in the comment section down below. If you guys would rate the video, I'd really appreciate it. And until next time, we'll see you guys then. Goodbye.